got a new Jean Dawson album out. We are winning out here. We have another fantastic release from the man after his great 2020 album, which was one of the best of that year. And is honestly getting better as time goes on. I still think it's youthful, angsty energy is living up really well. And the tunes at the core of what he was doing were just so fantastic and so memorable that it just will live on for many, many years, I think. And I think more younger people that you know jumping onto this sound this style of music will only find what gene is doing you know fantastic as time goes on as well and a new album here just to add to the repertoire of the great music it's it, it's just all looking so good for him three heads was one of the main singles for this album and it is one of the best tracks on the whole album too immediately gripping with the it just reminds me of like the early rock days of my youth and it's done really well because there are lots of artists that are really trying to capture that era as well. Lots of pop punk wannabes at the moment. I'm not saying this is on the level of that kind of thing. I'm just saying, you know, lots of those artists in the realm of, you know, pop punk and stuff are just trying to recapture it. I feel like Willow's trying to do it right now. I don't think she's doing it very well, to be honest, but I still think there's a lot of other artists as well that are just trying to capture that, you know, 2000s rock energy. And I feel like Gene Dawson just does it so effortlessly and it just sounds so good right from the get-go. It just sounds like he's immediately on his rock star shit, you know, he's just so... Uh, great in this style and he sounds such a natural fit for it and he's kind of up the ante a little bit as well i feel like these tracks are faster speedier rockier honestly it reminds me of eve tumor's you know um sort of transition into that glam rock star that eve tumor has become really and i feel like this album is doing that as well a little bit more in the like sort of like arena rock realms too I just think Gene Dawson is just such a natural fit for this and it sounds so good as well. He gets away somehow with the lines, the opening lines on the track Glory as well, which if MGK, Machine Gun Kelly was saying that shit, I'm telling you right now, it'd be cringe as fuck. But somehow it, it doesn't sound cringy out of his voice. I mean, they're not great lyrics, but I said with his 2020 album as well, that I'm not necessarily going to be praising his lyrics the whole of the time because I, I still think there's a slight immaturity just to, to the way the summer lines come out, um, particularly on this track. But at least it doesn't sound massively cringy when he's saying it. It doesn't sound that bad. But it's just so forgivable when the anthemic chorus kicks in and it sounds so good. This was exactly what was so good about the last album. There were just choruses that just live on in your mind forever. It makes you feel young forever. This probably, this review's probably making me sound old. Like it probably is making me sound old the way I keep saying, you know, feeling young, youthful, that kind of thing. I'm not that old. I hope I don't seem that old, but I feel like it just gives off that youthful energy, man. Speaking of some pretty, you know, uh, I'm just gonna grab my lyric sheet here, the ones I've written down, some pretty, mediocre songwriting i guess you will um the <laughs> bad fruit track where he's talking about you know being an apple and how he was never picked after he fell off the tree like again i, I it probably sounds like i'm making an excuse for him i don't know but it's earnest you know he sounds naive he sounds young i don't know the age of him but he's kind of like the equivalent to you know when carly ray jepson makes like a really sort of like teen pop relationship song and yet she's like 30 odd but it doesn't sound cringy like it's that it's that equivalent it's that equivalent but in this style of music it's gene dawson doing that kind of like immature naive young person thing and it doesn't sound bad because they, they, they just sound so young when they're talking about it. And they make it sound good too. Because of the way the, the track builds and becomes an almost like Regina Spector type song. Like something off of Far. Honestly, the instrumental would sound so similar to this. And then you've got like the Arcade Fire sort of like uh, <laughs> build as well. Like it, it really sounds like he's pulling from 2000s indie stuff here like chamber pop indie rock sort of stuff that kind of era baroque pop as well like 
he's got his influences and he's sharp with them as well because it just sounds so good it sounds so euphoric as well and then earl sweatshirt comes in too where the hell did this come from how the hell did he get an earl feature i don't know on a track like this as well earl sweatshirt has no right to be here and no right right to sound this good and yet he bloody does we got porn acting which is something i am tempted to do no i'm not yes i am maybe yes no no yeah a little bit no yeah no the angsty punk energy comes through on this track there's a few tracks that are just so raucous with the like straight up energy fired up drums the guitars and stuff like that this is one of the best moments for it um the fake my death like two-pack line a bit perplexing that one but again just adds to the sort of naivety of this guy huh is sounding messier as well um this track just sounds a bit more of like a, a dirty sort of grimy rock tune that just has no polish on it whatsoever it's got that rusty look to it and it sounds so good for it too i feel like screw face is one of the best tracks on the album as well when the guitar comes in at the end it is exquisite seriously yeah there's just so many great moments like this across the whole thing you know the production qualities are so good everything sounds so big and like i say arena size like seriously tracks like three heads i've already mentioned it but three heads man at a festival like this could go the fuck off and maybe that's a bit of a cliche thing for a, a music critic to say but it means more to say it about gene dawson i think because he's not that famous of an artist yet but it seems like he's making music for so many people out there that haven't heard it yet but you know all those kind of like real rock music folks that just want to hear the rocky, rocky stuff? My my guy Gene Dawson is here for you. Sick of It is fired up like crazy, one of the best tracks. Again, just the energy coming through. He's just got such a great voice for this as well that really carries the songs. I feel like any other singer or any other mediocre type singer would just make this sound a bit bland, but he really adds fuel to the fire with his vocals. And then Pirate Radio, like, again, with Earl Sweatshirt being on this, the track that he's on that just feels like it shouldn't exist. This track feels like it shouldn't exist either. The bloody Irish influence coming through here, like, how did he manage to make this work? It's like he didn't even need to do this, but it was almost as if he was like, you know what, I'm versatile, I can do whatever I want. And he sure did prove it. Like, seriously, the definition of versatility to end your album with a track like this. What the hell, man? Ed Sheeran out here doing Galway Girl. Can you do pirate radio, though? You can't, can you? You can't. And that's just about... That just about sums up Gene Dawson, man. He's just a great talent at the moment. A, a superstar in the making. A rock star in the making. He's kind of already crossed over to that territory, really. Um, I mean, just look at the album cover as well. Like, sure, it's got that kind of, like, animated feature to it. It almost looks like some, like, random YouTube kids video with the way it's animated, honestly. But the way, you know, he's just stood there with the guitar sort of hanging off of him. It's very Rick James, I feel, like something like Rick James would do. Just, like, oozes cool. You know what I mean? In the same way that Rick James did in his heyday. Um, yeah, there's just something about Gene Dawson at the moment that just really screams to me as like a cool, youthful, energetic artist that should be appealing to more people. And it was exactly the same for the 2020 album too. So of course, I'm as hype for this one as I was that one. 8 out of 10 from me. This is one of my favourites of the year. So replayable as well. Like seriously, these tracks are just so, so fun and enlightening. Just if you just want a fun time angsty pop punk energy in places rock energy in places irish energy i guess if you yeah yeah really you it's great it's so good fans of eve tumor the, the recent eve tumor stuff i think we'll get something out of a lot of these tracks as well so if you're a fan of that you're a fan of you're probably going to be a fan of this vice versa i i think there's lots to love for Gene Dawson, um, yeah, great artist right now. Thank you for watching. As always, do subscribe if you haven't already. Do have a good day as well. Check out my Patreon in the comment uh, in the comments in the description. Um, as always, check out the comment section and then leave a comment. Yes, that makes sense. Do have a good day. <laughs> Goodbye.